And then there was another question about the thermals and how that's handled and, and addressed uh, for the high temperatures that come with the chips on Wi-Fi 7. Well, that's a great question. I mean, that's really what's led to our redoing of our industrial design. So we started out with U7 Pro. We really stretched the limits of what we could do with our traditional design. We, we made successive improvements just over time with U7 Pro as we, as we got more mature with the hardware and then Pro Max was probably our, our final iteration on what we could do with our original design. But then as you know, Pro XG came out, we wanted to move to 10 gig, that necessitated you know, changing up the whole ID. And then E7 was also a big learning for us because that AP has higher end radios that run even hotter, even more power demand. And so that's why if you look at an E7 AP, not only does it have the, the big heat sink design on the back, it's got the, the actual ridges cut into the metal backing for additional heat dissipation. We did a lot of thermal management with that design. And, and so it, it's really been a learning for us, but it's also been an opportunity for us because now for the first time in 14 years, 15 years, we finally have a new design for ceiling mount APs. So when people look up, they get to see a whole new modern design 